Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. The Federal Electoral Commission suspends three seats, including Fahad Yassin's. This article is taken from the Somali newspaper, Haran. Excuse me. The chairman of the Federal Electoral Implementation Team, FEIT, Muse Gwele Yusuf, held a press conference in Mogadishu on Monday. He announced the suspension of three electoral seats in the incoming lower house of parliament. Excuse me. The seats announced by the chairman of the Electoral Commission are HOP, uh, I, I assume that's House of the Parliament, perhaps, 154, HOP 103, and HOP 86. The last of which was won yesterday by Farmajo, uh, Farmajo's, uh, who is the, well, I, get, I think he's the president, but the head of state of Som Somalia, uh, close ally and former NISA director Fahad Yassin Haji Dahir, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, I had reported this yesterday, and I, I mentioned that a lot of the people that uh, are being elected to the Somali uh, parliament seem to be at least a few of them, the the ones that they that I I observed. Uh, were from the intelligence or security fields in Somalia, and I was happy about that. But in this case, the it, his uh, the uh, the winner of one of the seats he uh, it has been suspended by by the uh, federal electoral implementation team or the electoral commission, I guess you could call it. The Federal Electoral Commission rejected the results of Fahad Yassin's election, saying that it had postponed the election due to irregularities concerning delegates. These seats, which have been misguided and inaccurate, will be reconsidered and will remain in place, said the chairman of the Federal Electoral Commission. Muhammad Ali Hassan won HOP 103, which was last held by former parliamentary speaker, Professor Jawari. Sarito Mohammed Abdullahi won HOP 154, but the results were vacated because her opponent was too young to compete according to election rules. According to sources, members of the state electoral commission from the Hirshabele Southwest and Galmudu administrations are mobilizing action in response to the decision by Federal Electoral Commission Chairman Muse Gwele Yusuf. So far, 165 seats have been complete. 